There is so much cleaning to be done. I lived out of my luggage bag for a good three... <laughs> hey, can you guys... I'm trying to vlog here. Hi. I lived out of my luggage bag for a good three weeks, and so I've got to do all of my laundry. And New Zealand doesn't quite believe in using dryers. They do kind of the very old school method of um, hanging your clothes out to dry. So that's what I've been doing. And I own a lot of blacks, surprisingly. Um, I'm not really the type of guy who wears black, but I had a lot more of it than I thought I did. I never really noticed. Come here. Hi. This is Mac. Hi, Mac. Oh, you're a cutie. And over there is Tosh. You're very pretty. You're a nice doggy. Here comes Tosh. Hi! Hello! Hi! You're so nice! Oh, you like me! <gasps> Isn't it nice when you go somewhere and the animals like you? It's like, ah, whatever Ava's mother thinks of me. It's fine. It is what it is. But I really want the dogs to like me. <laughs> is that weird? It's weird, right? I love animals. So I've been sorting through and organizing a bunch of papers. And after the bajillion flights that we took from Canada to Hong Kong to Thailand to Australia and to New Zealand, what was it, like 30-ish flights? The very last flight, two things went horribly wrong. One is I had a, an aerosol can of um, body, uh, what's it called, sunscreen, and it exploded in my laundry, which is super, super cool because all of my stuff is uh, sticky and smells really bad. And it, it was in a little pouch so that it wouldn't explode everywhere, but that pouch had all of my like bathroom belongings. So now all of my bathroom stuff is just covered in sticky gook. And the second thing that happened is after 30 so flights, it was the last one that got treated really, really roughly and a bunch of my stuff broke. So my razor thing, this is all broken. So I am not gonna be able to trim my facial hair, which it's great because I was already rocking, I don't know if I was rocking it, but I already had, I was in possession of a, a, a scraggly beard that I am no longer able to trim. I was kind of keeping it trimmed back and now, no, that's not going to be an option. But you know what isn't broken? And you know what I'm very proud that I still have because I believe there was a bet in place? I've got my sunglasses. So as long as these make it to Canada, I think Corrado owes me like 200 bucks or something? I think that was the deal. I think the deal was in or around, maybe there was a zero off placed somewhere, but either 200 or potentially $2,000 because um, I still have my sunglasses. And I was looking on Instagram and it turns out that Corrado broke his sunglasses. I don't know, go check that out. Instagram.com slash Corrado He definitely broke his sunglasses. So let, like, let's just double. I think that's, that means I get more. So we're still waiting for Ava, aren't we? Ava's not here yet, she's coming in a couple days. We just gotta hang out without her. We'll have fun, just us. Just us homies. Mac and Tosh are brother and sister, and Mac has the darker back and is a boy. And then you're the girl, and you're Tosh, and you're really... <laughs> You're very, very nice. I have really wanted a dog recently. There just, there needs to be a dog in the Apprentice A house. And Dawson's around sometimes, he's just not always around, and I feel like Apprentice A should have a dog. But Corrado is allergic to dogs, and Dawson was a type of dog that Corrado happened to not be allergic to. But I, I don't want a Bichon Frise like Dawson. I really want a Corgi. I have wanted one of those for like, a long, long, long time. And so, who knows, maybe when I go home we'll start looking into getting like an apprentice, a new apprentice house pet dog thing. They're just so great. And then I can vlog alone without being alone. You look dead. You are cute. Oh, and you're giving me kisses. That's my favorite. <laughs> I love you. Hello vlog. So jet lag is an interesting phenomenon. Um, it is currently quarter to one in the morning and I am wide awake. I got up at 9 a.m. to finish editing the last Kentucky video. I just finished it and it is now up and live on youtube.com slash Kentucky. So please make sure you go and look at it because I'm really proud of it and it took me forever to edit. So um, the link to it in the outro. Make sure you go check it out. But I now am very awake and I don't really know what to do with myself because I should be going to bed soon to get back on a regular schedule, but I don't think I'll be able to. Corrado, how am I going to go to bed on time when I am very, very awake right now? Um, you take some melatonin uh -huh. and you uh, go to sleep. I don't know if that'll work. Because it's not like or you very so heavily... And then you exhaust yourself, and then you just... <laughs> 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 
but I'll probably just slip and fall on the ice. And then you'll fall unconscious, and then you'll be asleep. I, I don't know if that's really helpful. So I don't know how you're going to sleep. Time. Me? You woke up at 5 p.m. despite my it was, best it was effort. More like, it was more 5.30. Ugh. <sighs> I literally came and woke you up like eight times. Yeah, and I literally slept 16 hours. You were ridiculous. It was glorious. It was glorious. And I now it's slept. like your schedule is completely wrong. No, my schedule's fine. I never had a schedule. I looked, <laughs> at, I looked at my Fitbit stats, uh -huh. and for the past month and a bit, my average nightly sleep is between it was about three to four hours a night. Yes. On average. Yes. Because of buffer, uh -huh. and then traveling, yep. and then traveling. <laughs> Uh, and so, basically for one month, it's been pure adrenaline. And so I, I came Woo! home, and I hit my bed, and it was done. And you didn't get out of bed. 16 hours later, I woke up, and I'm still exhausted. How? Because it's, I'm tired. It is a tiring thing that I have done. I woke up at 9 a.m., meaning I got four hours of sleep last night, and I am wide awake. I don't understand. I think I'm just still on that adrenaline running around getting videos up thing um you probably are gonna get sick i will get sick yes you will no, that's what happens when you get home and sleep for 16 hours after a trip and then relax i'm trying not to relax i'm just gonna stay tense forever so i don't get sick that's a mm, good idea right mm -hmm. that's not gonna make me sick at all i will get sick i went through, went through <laughs> All of Buffer, uh -huh. all of Thailand, and yeah. all of Australia. Yeah, Without and now, sick. yes, because Enough. you were on a high, and now you're going to crash. I don't know. You already did. 16 hours of sleep is unnecessary. Unnecessary. <laughs> I'll be fine. Okay. So because all of the videos are live now, I'm wondering um, if you've seen all of them. If you haven't, you should watch them. But if you've seen all of them, which one do you like the most? Um, we did a lot of editing, there was a lot of videos, there was a lot of activities, um, and I just want to know if you liked the challenges, or if you liked the gatherings, or if you liked any of the activities specifically, and just let me know in the comments below and we can talk about all of the awesome things that happened. For now, I'm going to attempt to go to bed, um, we'll see if it works, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Daily vlogs, I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the vlog is